Hello, greetings, salutations, everybody, and welcome to the channel of Flash with our playthrough of For the Frog the Bell Tolls. So last time, we got turned into a frog, but this time, we're gonna venture on further in our quest in order to hopefully turn us back into a human, into a beautiful prince, once again. Oh yeah, and we got Prince Richard over here following following us. So yeah, let's go. Alamor. Oh, first stop. Let's not get too hasty. I gotta show off to town now that now that we're frogs. So pretty much if you go and talk to everybody, uh yeah, their words don't make sense. So <laughs> we can't understand the humans. Humans can't understand us. Ah, uh, such a shame. So let's try going into the shop. Maybe... Maybe they sell stuff to amphibians? Oh, nope. They don't even give us the option. Womp womp womp. Ah, oh, what a shame. Can I get down? There we go. Oh, one more thing to check out. That's a nice little... Nice little note. Over here on the bulletin board. Look, news flash, <laughs> flash, unfortunate prince turns into frog? Oh no, it seems like the people are aware of our plight. But how come nobody helps us? Ah, how sad, how very sad indeed. Anyways, so yeah, let's go over to Eclair Palace so we can get on further with our quest. Let's see who can find the princess first. Ha ha! You took the words right out of my mouth. Mm hmm hmm. Indeed. So, anyways, over here. Don't go over here. We can't do anything there yet. So let's jump over this guy. Go past over here since we can't do anything there yet. And if you have a very good memory, you may remember that there was a pit. A pit of water that we could not previously get through. But, <laughs> since we're frogs, this is a blessing in disguise, so now we can. I'm not a frog. I'm a soldier in a custard army. Oh, you and me, we've seen better days. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, also, what I wanted to talk about, uh... Now's not a good time to show it off. I'll show it off later. And uh, when we get to an area that's not so cramped. Sewer. Oh, there's that door again with this funny looking symbol. Remember when I said that'll be important later? Well, later is coming up real soon. You need the diamond key to enter the sewer. Yep. So we know what we, know what we want now. So anyways, yeah. The jump stat. Remember as a human we couldn't jump that high? Or we can jump pretty high, but now that we're a frog, our jump stats doubled. So now we can jump super high. Whereas a human, you only be able to jump like, what, right here-ish? But now that we're a frog, we can jump all the way up there. So yeah, those are the perks of being a frog. But unfortunately, we're also weak as shit, so we can't get into any fights. If we get into a fight, we're done for. Oh, but this. This is not a fight. This is lunch! Gulp. Ray swallowed the enemy. Frogs can regain health by eating bugs. Yep. So... Hey, I didn't even jump on that. Yeah, I gotta watch out for those guys. They push you around. Like some big old bully at the playground. So yeah, don't touch them. But anyways... Yeah, you can eat all kinds of bugs and stuff, and you can never, uh, and you'll always kill them automatically and take health from them. Frogs are weak and can't fight well. Yeah, I know, I already explained that. Oh yeah, so this is our first dungeon. Not first dungeon, but our first dungeon as a frog. You're gonna get, you're gonna see real soon how in-depth it can get. Have some bugs, they'll make you big and strong. Yeah, I know, I'm aware. I'm well aware. You made it. Please go on ahead. 
Yeah, that's the plan, Stan. So, yep, we want to go inside this middle one right here. Yeah, um, on a first playthrough, this can be a very trial and error E. I don't know if that's a real word. Or a real terminology, trial and error E. But anyways, yeah. Since there are so many, like, little uh, paths to go through, and I might as well show it off right now. Remember in Pokemon Gen 3 and uh, that one gym? I think it was Winona with the little turnstiles. Well, <laughs> it can only go one way, just like in that game. So yeah, this is real innovative, huh? It can also go down. And they stay that way until you, like, until you leave the screen and come back. But yeah, as you can see, you can't get back in. You know, since it's like blocked up onto the door. So, of course you can't. That only makes sense. Of course, of course. So anyways, we want to go this way. Uh, not that way. We want to go in the top one over here. Yep, go in there. I don't think that frog says anything except like... Oh, we got turned into a frog, or... Eat some bugs to get... Better, or something, I don't know. They don't give you any useful information, so... You don't need to bother talking to them. Has the princess really been captured? Yes. Oh shit. Come on. Pay attention, man. You sleeping in class? Frog class? Or would that be a school? No, it's a school of fish. I don't know what you call frogs. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, we're not supposed to be here yet. Whoops. <laughs> my bad, my bad. This is not where we go. We do want to go up in the top path, but then we want to go over here. Go over here. Keep right and watch your step. Yep, we got some good old-fashioned platforming. Ah, oh, crap! Yep, some good old-fashioned platforming. Fuck! Yep, some good old-fashioned platforming. You gotta be fucking... Good old-fashioned platforming. There we go, oh my god. For some reason, I was, I was clicking the jump button, but the jump button wasn't registered. I blame it on my keyboard, man. It did not take me that long during my practice run. But you know, since the cameras since the cameras are rolling and I'm talking, everything just seems to go to shit. Ugh. I guess this is what they call the let's players curse or whatever. Anyways, we wanna go over here. Oh look at that little picture up on the wall. It's a snake, huh? Now why does a snake have a crown? Hmm, very, very weird. Hey guys, I'm a fellow frog too. Ribbit, ribbit. Hey, where's the princess? Burp, hick. Whoa, burp, hick yourself, buddy. Ribbit, ribbit, hey, where's the princess? Burp, hick. Okay. Got a bunch of, not frogs, but their parents constantly repeating each other. Ugh. Hick. Hey, little guy. Want some squid? I want you, little froggies, nice and plump. What? Why would he want us frogs to be nice and plump? That's so weird. Want a sip? Jeez, this kingdom is frog infested. Wonder if that's why we invaded it. Hmm. That's not very nice. I don't want any beans. And you're not my little buddy, little friend. Uh, a surprise when you meet Lord Delarian. He loves frogs, because he's a scary snake! <laughs> what? Lord Delarian's a snake? Ooh, who could have seen this coming? <laughs> Delarian's a snake. If that's true, that means... Where is dinner? I've got to tell Richard. Our break is over. Time to patrol. Come on, we're late. Oh my good god, what a tragic turn of events. A twist of fate. Oh, but we got the diamond key, so everything's okay. All K. Okay. <laughs> I tried to say all right and okay. And that was some weird amalgamation of words. But anyways, yeah. Whew. See the way I jumped up there? Yeah. So yeah, let's go tell Richard. Let's get out of here. Going down, going down. 
So yeah, uh, since we're on our way back, I guess now would be a good time to share some little Easter egg and tidbit trivia about this game. So, if this character looks familiar, not just because of um, Link's Awakening, but if you ever played Super Smash Brothers, you probably recognize this guy. Uh, which Smash was it? Smash. I think it was Smash for the Wii U and 3DS and uh, Smash Ultimate, where uh, the guy I'm playing as, the Prince of Sable, he actually appears as an assist trophy. And so, that's why uh, he turns into a frog and... Oh shit, spoilers. Eventually I'm gonna turn into a snake. So, uh, yeah, that's... Now you know why he turns into a snake! Or, we don't know why he turns into a snake yet, but you know why he turns into a frog. Okay, over here, jump up here. Oh man, this is just a maze. Oh, uh, yeah, he also appears in a... Super Smash Bros. Brawl as a sticker. Take the upper passage. Hey, don't tell me what to do! But yeah, he's right. You want to open this way? Uh, we don't need to go that way, but just in case we fall... Yeah, just in case you fall up there and, like, somehow end up... I don't know how you would end up there if we fall here, but if you ever want to go that way, that's why you would open the key. Yeah, we've got to watch out for these balls. They push you around. As I said earlier. <laughs> oh yeah, back on the Smash topic of Super Smash Bros. That's also why, um, if you pay close attention, we get a Power Stone, of course. Strength throws by one. Oh yeah, look at the stats. Look. Power is still one. It doesn't change us as a frog, but it only... The Power Stone only affects the human form. But yeah, uh, if you ever paid close attention to the Super Smash Bros. animation, where the Princess of Blade turns into like a little Looney Tunes fight cloud thing. Yeah, so now you know- Oh, fuck! Now you know where they got that animation from. It's, uh, yeah, every time you get into a fight in this game, the little Looney Tunes fight cloud animation is triggered. Oh my god, I cannot talk today. I don't know what's going on. Ooh, that was a nice jump. There we go. You made it. Please go on ahead. Oh, you bet. You bet. You bet indeed. You can bet your ass on it, buddy. Oh, and I spy with my little eye another treasure. Okay, uh, keep walking this way. So many frogs. Frogs cannot breathe underwater. Water. Frogs cannot breathe underwater. Yeah, I know. I know there's a useful item. I already got one of them. And there's the other one. There we go. I wonder what's inside. What's inside? A life stone. Yep, there's the other useful item. Ooh, this place is spooky creepy. This place gives me the willies. Ooh, boy. Or skeletons, but they're like moving. Sentient skeletons? Ooh. I guess we are in Halloween season. The spooky season. Ooh. Ugh, get up. There we go. I got my head stuck on the wall corner. Or the corner of that platform. Ye who have courage. Jump! Jump! Oh, I don't want to start seeing Van Halen, or else it's going to make me all emotional due to recent events. I'm trapped! No, you're not, buddy. Look! Ta-da! I'm... Oh. Okay, then. I don't know why you can't see this open door. I don't know why you're saying you're trapped. Oh, wait, there's no exit here. Maybe he is trapped. Whoops. <laughs> Look at me making fun of him for getting the warp door! It warps you to an area's entrance! And it looks like that's what we need because if we try, if we try to jump, 
Even though we're a frog and we can we can jump super high, it's just not high enough to get up on this ledge. Oh, very, very unfortunate. Very unfortunate indeed. Unfortunate, not unfortunate. So that's why we gotta whip out the old warp door. And skedaddle! Hey there, Richard! You were standing at the door the whole time? I thought we were having a contest to find a princess first. Yeah, <laughs> slacker. Don't spook me like that, Ray! What happened? Did you locate the princess? Never mind that Mandala put one over on us! Delarin is really a snake! I knew she was up to no good from the start! Calm down. We must first turn back into humans. Go find Mandola. Right. I've got a load of questions for her. And what are you going to do, Richard? I'll brief my men and come up with a plan. Use a well in town as a shortcut. Good luck. Man, I don't know what kind of voice I'm trying to do with this guy. I understand. Let's get going. Can I go back inside? Leave the palace to us. Okay, you got it, if you say so. Let's go back to town and find the... Uh, well, that he was talking about. Because we gotta give Mandola a piece of our mind. I mean, she knew Delarin was a snake, but she sent us as frogs over to fight him or something? What? Something just doesn't quite add up over here. I've got questions, and I need answers. So let's go find the witch. Going up. Oh, Mandola! Jump for joy. Rip, rip, rip it. You tricked me. Hee <laughs> hee. Why, that's quite a change! Ribbit! Change me back! But I worked so hard to give you that form! Ribbit! No more tricks! Turn me back now! <laughs> What's the rush? You'll turn back in spring! Ribbit! Huh? Know about the spring bell, don't you? Tiramisu herself cast it, and now it rests in Spring Hill. When spring comes, its ring will resound across the kingdom, and poof, you'll be a human again. Infiltrate the palace as a frog, and the moment spring arrives, the bell will toll. <gasps> the bell will toll. For the frog. Huh. Interesting choice of words. Delivern will wake up. You'll turn back into a human and take him down. It's perfect. You know, that's not perfect. What's perfect is me taking a sip of water right now because this... This is a murder on my voice. Oh boy, that felt good. <clears throat> Anyways. Oh, look! <coughs> Ooh, <coughs> I'm choking on water. <clears throat> Fuck. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> look, if you really are that impatient, I have one more potion. But it ain't cheap. With all discounts applied, it'll be one million and one hundred and fifty-five nuts. Oh. But that's all the money I have! What a ripoff! Fine! Wait for spring then! Will you buy it? Fuck no! I can't go broke! I haven't even gone woke! I won't make you buy it! Yeah, fuck you, I'm out. <laughs> no. No time to be stingy. For the sake of the princess, for the sake of the kingdom, I have to give away my money. Yes, I'm aware of how much it cost. I will buy it. 
Well, that's the spirit. And exact change, too! Well, here's the very last one. Got another weird potion. Remember to drink it all at once. Okay, hee hee hee. I'm going to spend this on a much needed vacation. Polnareff to Hop Hop Springs. These old bones, bones need it. Hey, can I come too? I'm feeling kind of stressed out. So, uh, huh, we got another weird potion. Is it gonna work? Well, only one way to find out. Whoa, sparkle, sparkle. Huh? It's not working? What? Mentola, you'll pay for this. She said she was going to Hop Hop Springs. She did say that, didn't she? And we shall make haste after her in the next part. So, <laughs> will you find Mandola on time? Will we ever get turned back into a human? Will Prince Richard find a princess before we find a princess? Hmm, I don't know. I guess we can find out next time. Or maybe in the next two parts. Or three parts. Or four parts. Heck, maybe we'll find out in the final part. Who knows? Only time will tell. Anyways, I'm out. See y'all!